So the big technology story of the week is um, regarding Neil Parrish MP who has been accused of watching adult content while sitting in the House of Commons in the UK um, whilst at work and has claimed that he has accidentally viewed some adult content online and today we're going to look at is this possible is this credible and explore the technological reasons behind it that could be at play so what has happened um we'll just have a look at this video briefly um to hear on the latest on the situation i will await the findings of the inquiry in terms of you've had the, the, the Conservative whip removed, where does that leave you? It leaves me still as a Member of Parliament for Tiburon and Honiton. I, I've just come back from a surgery in Honiton. Uh, I will maintain my duties very much as the MP and while I remain Chair of the Environment, Food and Rural Affairs Select Committee, I also keep up my work there. Is this embarrassing? Of course it's embarrassing and it's embarrassing for my wife. Um, and a family and so that's my main concern at the moment. I have a very supportive wife and um, I, I thank her for that. Yeah. Just generally your views on pornography? I'm not going to comment on that, no. Okay. Neil, was it a mistake? I will wait the, await the findings of the inquiry. But I'm talking about did you open something up by error in the common? I did, but let let the let the um, let the inquiry look at that. It's obviously very difficult for you, but are you considering your future? I will await the findings of the uh, inquiry, and then I will consider my position. I will not remain um, if I am found guilty. So, having looked at that, we're going to look at the possible causes behind um, accidental viewing of. Um, websites or videos online and some possible causes technologically speaking are instant messengers malware ads accidental clicks mistyped web addresses and hacked websites and we're going to look at each one in turn so firstly if we look at instant messenger that includes apps such as facebook messenger and whatsapp and you can have group or individual chats on these applications um, what can happen in these group chats is if you open them up, uh, there may be an attachment that someone's shared and it might be unclear from the thumbnail or the title um, what the actual content is. So when you open it there, it could lead to inadvertent playing of material um, that you don't actually intend to view. Um, it could also be that there are many... Um, pranks that happen online where a video is purported to be one thing and is actually replaced with content that is um, something else entirely. Uh, a common example of this has been the concept of Rick Rolling where videos were replaced with Rick Astley's hit Never Gonna Give You Up um, whilst the title and thumbnail suggested something different. Obviously the content that it repl is replaced with could, could be anything. Um, links can also be sent in these chats and if they're sent without a description it might again be unclear from the web URL that's sent what the link is and you will only actually know once you finally open it. Malware then can be placed on your phone and cause unintentional visits to websites. The motive for people doing this is, is to profit from ads, to steal your information, uh, increase visits to a website, notoriety. Um, to cause embarrassment to people and um, to make money and profit and malware ultimately can end up on your phone by um, visiting websites which have been compromised themselves or by downloading apps particularly on phones that aren't from one of the um, licensed app stores like the Google Play Store or Apple's App Store if we look at website ads, uh, most websites these days will have actually some advertising on. So in this example, we can see even the BBC outside of the UK runs adverts on its website. And these are paid for by companies who pay a certain amount per impression. So per time the ad is shown and pay a certain amount when it's clicked. Now these can 
these days with the advent of broadband and fast internet speeds are often um, animated ads or can actually include videos these days that auto play without user interaction so you can actually be visiting a legitimate website and some of the adverts might not be considered appropriate depending on the circumstances website owners can restrict the type of ads that are shown um, but often many companies might be reluctant to do this as it might be a main source of revenue for them and restricting the types of ads that shown does actually potentially restrict the revenue that you can make from it simply by reducing the number of available companies that you can sell that advertising space to. If we look at accidental clicks again this is heavily related to adverts on websites um, but you can click on a search result or an advert it might not be clear what the website is for or you might not have read it properly and that can result result uh, in you inadvertently going to a website that you didn't intend to and this is particularly much more common these days uh, due to the proliferation of touch devices such as mobile phones and tablets so a user is intending to scroll up and whilst they're scrolling up they actually click on a link or an advert that they didn't intend to. Mistyped web addresses is slightly less common than some of the other causes uh, but does happen. Um, it's particularly common for people to register misspellings of popular websites so if you think about Google or Microsoft or Facebook or Twitter and um, companies will register these mistyped these misspellings of the company name or the company website with the hope that when users mistype uh, these email uh, these domains into the web browser that they actually end up visiting their website which can be completely different to the website that it purports to be from the domain name Increasingly, due to the extent of domain names being extended to be able to use non-Latin characters, it's becoming very popular to register the websites where they have, for example, the same spelling, but the O is the O with the accent that's used in some language atop, on top of it, rather than the usual um, English O character that the main website uses. Companies are increasingly trying to combat this by purchasing the misspelled domain names and websites themselves and redirecting the users to the main website, but this does still happen, particularly among smaller companies and smaller websites. Hacked websites is another big one. You might actually type the web address correctly. You might follow the correct search result that you want to follow. But if a website is hacked, it can obviously have its content completely replaced with anything that the hacker chooses to do. And um, they can also force these legitimate websites to redirect to another web page, which again, the hacker has control over what content is on there and could result um, in the viewing of inappropriate material. So that's our roundup there of some of the possible causes for accidental viewing that may have happened in this case. Um, so it is important to only download apps from the app store that's reputable and also to ensure that you're careful about the links that you click on and particularly whilst you're typing in web addresses online. Um, if you like the video don't forget to uh, hit the like button and to keep up with our weekly videos on everything tech um, don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well.